like when I started, I did not want to go to a liberal arts college. When I started, I was physics, physics, and physics only. There was nothing else that I was interested in. I clearly remember the day. It was 9th January. We were just waiting for the decision to be released. So I just kept on refreshing the page over and over again. And then I finally found the decision. I like just like set up my camera just in case I got accepted. And then I clicked on it, and I realized that I had been accepted. Hi, I'm Niamat Gill. I study in Amity International School, Noida, and I'm going to Oxford. So when I joined in 11th, I was pretty sure that I wanted to do something related to physics, particularly quantum physics. It's just that I did not really understand how I could do any activities related to quantum physics because, you know, that requires particle accelerators and about $5 billion, which I was short. First of all, it started by realizing that, you know, broadening my interest a little in that I realized that I was not just interested in quantum physics, but also some of the other things that I um, did by like starting a physics club, participating in some other physics competitions that focus more on classical physics rather than quantum. But most of all, my Keystone project, which was a research paper that I did, which was centered around quantum mechanics. Now, that was something that I never actually imagined myself doing. Doing. But then I met Nishal sir. He introduced me to a module called Qiskit, which basically allows you to simulate quantum circuits just using Python. And at this time, I had barely started coding. I was completely new to coding. I'd never heard of Qiskit before, even quantum gates. Like I understood the basic logic behind quantum circuits, but I had no idea about the details. So Nishal sir started by giving me some papers to read. I got a basic sense of the idea. And after that, you know, we started discussing what research projects we could do. And so, yeah, it was a great journey. And that was like that in the Keystone project. Like when I started, I did not want to go to a liberal arts college. When I started, I was physics, physics and physics only. There was nothing else that I was interested in. Doing the projects, doing the research papers, there were some skills that I learned, you know, like coding, writing a research paper, etc, etc. But apart from that, I learned several other things as well because there were two competitions that I did, uh, one competition that I did NASA and then, you know, I also started the physics club at my school. So definitely like leadership skills, like those were things that People had talked about hypothetically and you know, I finally started to do those things. That's something that I understood. I would say most of all in the process of writing essays, I would say I just started to think about things that I hadn't thought about before. Like I wrote a graded paper on feminism and Barbie. That was like one of the favorite parts because when I went to see Barbie, I paid extra attention because I was absolutely 100% sure like I would definitely write an essay about this. And we actually couldn't like find room to squeeze it in any essay. So when I had to write a graded paper for Princeton, that's what I chose. I would say helpful, creative, energetic.